we're doing this sequence. How? They gave us one minus two, three minus four, five, da da da. What they want? They want us to find the next two. So we do. The next two just happen to be, oh, I'm labeling my sequences A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. And when I said sequences, I meant terms of a sequence. So then A6 and A7. A6 is minus six, A7 is seven. All right, that was pretty intuitive now. Something that's a little bit harder, what? They want us to find a recursion relation, meaning that the term that you're at depends on where you were. Boop, where you at. That's what we're looking for right here. A n plus one. We want to write a relationship. Me and my math got this relationship. We want a relationship with the term previous to n plus 1. So we went and we messed around with some stuff. We thought this was it, but it didn't turn out to produce the things that we wanted. So we were like, hey, maybe this will work. And turns out it did. What? It means wherever you're at, you're going to either add one or subtract one and then change the sign. Don't believe me? Check it! Rip out a couple of terms and see if that's what you get. We could have also seen something like this, but then we decided that that didn't work because we cranked out a couple of terms and it didn't produce what we want. And then we said, oh, if we make that absolute value, it's going to work. And that turned out to work. We cranked out a couple of terms. Go ahead. Don't trust it. Pause this. Crank them out. See if it works. What's my point? There's no absolute way to do this recursion relation. Now the third thing they wanted us to do is find a general term. Without recursion we're gonna use J. Probably should have used G. What up G? For general term. Now this doesn't depend on the term before it. we can get any term with the general term. So we went through and we were like it's gonna flip flop on sign. Then it's gonna be whatever N is. When we look at the sequences like up here. Boom. These guys. I totally missed it. We want it independent of the term before it. So then we go and we crank out a couple of terms just to see if we're getting what we want. So J1, I put a 1 in everywhere I see an N, and I get a 1. And then we put J2, I put a 2 in everywhere I have an N, and I get a... Now, it was sad. The class had to break out their calculators for that one. But yeah, it worked out. It worked out. Oh, this problem's cute. It's way beyond cute. It's sexy and it knows it. It worked out. Box and flower. Bye.